flat of British, bloody speaking. Good amici. So I've, I've got this, um, oh, let me just pull it up. Um, yeah, that's, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so to have to go for this figures and scenes of the Paris Commune, so the, the year is sort of 1831 to 1890, so it's quite it's quite a while. Uh, uh, it's a it's an awful lot of junk in this book, okay. But uh, th there were just some things in it that I thought was worth mentioning. And uh, that's why I'm, I'm doing this vlog. Uh, it's not in line with what Martin Leaker is doing at the moment. Uh, but you know, it's all bits. It's all jigsaw. It's all bits and pieces, isn't it? And uh, eventually it will all kind of come together. So... The pictures we're going to look at is somewhere between 1831 and 1890, so uh, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. I was just double checking 60 years. Okay. Um, interestingly, uh, this means that you cannot copy the photo. Yeah. Interdict is uh, forbidden you can't do it yeah. um so i've already looked through this book so i'm just going to do a brief commentary just just pointing things out okay uh first off uh, with this particular image if you just notice the clothing okay and a lot of the photos that are going to come up um are really thick really thick dense material as if you know for some reason in france it was extremely cold you know it's almost as if there was no summer because a lot of these photos they're not going to have um like summer clothes on it's always going to be dark it's always going to be thick yeah uh, but you know, just notice the uh, buttonage style on this particular one. Again, just notice the buttons. Uh, just again, very thick, very thick clothing. Yeah. Right, so but what I'm gonna what I want to point out to you, okay, a little bit later, um is that some of these photos have been edited. Okay. Now obviously I I don't know if they've been edited uh recently when these have been digitized, you know, or if originally these photos were edited you know, in that year, which was what, 60 years between 1831 and 1890. Oops, oops. But we're not quite there yet. Uh, admittedly, this does look a little bit silky. Yeah? And if it's not silk, and it's a synthetic material. Where on earth did they get that? Flat earth. Where on flat earth did they get that? Anyway. Again, I mean, this does look a little bit thinner. But we just noticed the buttons. This is going to be like a watch. A uh, strap lead, isn't it? Okay, moving on. Just stating the bleeding obvious. Right, okay. So, uh, we'll just note this guy's glasses and the, uh, well, well, it's double monocle, isn't it, I guess? You know, and the uh, string 
<coughs> and uh, under coat and uh, outer coat stating the obvious for the moment and it looks like we've got the same glasses on this particular guy which is a little bit suspicious probably the first thing that made me think um hmm, so it's interesting and button same type of button Again, dark clothing, dark outer jacket, can't see any buttons there, doesn't really matter. Uh, well, this looks like a uniform, doesn't it? Um, and no doubt, you know, if this is a uniform and these are buttons, they're, they're probably going to be brass. And they're going to be imprinted yeah so you know, just getting an idea of the technology that's around at this time another army guy it's just my assumption so when it comes to the army they get brass buttons Uh, I wasn't quite sure about this one, if this had actually been edited or not. There's, there's something a little bit strange, okay? And, you know, if you notice here, now I'm sure that hair was kind of like going out a bit or something. Something was going on, yeah? And you've got a, a defining line here, yeah, which isn't normal. And obviously you've got the ear here, and you'd have the ear probably coming down here, but we've got this cut line, yeah, like it's been edited. Yeah. But remember, you know, that kind of software that you would need, was it around between 1831 and 1890? Yeah, it, it's... It's suspicious. And that looks like a guy, even though it's supposed to be a woman. <clears throat> a surprising definition, to be honest. I mean, if you look at that line, yeah, the definition. Uh, but this, this looks original to me. I, I don't see anything wrong with that, but just, you know, note again, the same type of buttons now you know i'm assuming that these photos are from people from different walks of life that have gone to you know, a kind of photo studio to get their photo done for for whatever reason maybe a birthday present or something i don't know um uh yeah, just, just point out that these are french and Algerian people probably. Okay. Uh, well, we've got a little bit of felt, yeah, a little bit of feltage going on there on this. So this guy looks like he's probably got a little bit of cash and he's got a cigar, which I would assume is a luxury in any decade. This looks like a a uniform perhaps a sailor or something you know the stripes a sailor perhaps a little bit of medalage there um cigar so it's quite well known that in the navy you know, at least in the past you know fags sorry uh, cigarettes cigars you know they, they were uh, uh, you know, pretty much free given to sailors and stuff like that and, and that's a definite you know sturdy type of button isn't it so looks like a sailor in my estimation um well this 
definitely a tailored suit, isn't it? So, uh, oh, that looks a bit weird, doesn't it? That looks a bit weird. I think that's his ear there, but, but that doesn't look right. It doesn't look right at all. Um, <laughs> just pointing it out. So, yeah, that's okay. You know, a bit of hair sticking out or whatever. That's fine. That's fine. Um, doesn't look like the type of guy that would spend money to go and get his photograph taken. Looking at the, the quality of his clothes, it doesn't look that great. I mean, that material looks like a hole has just been punched in, you know? There's no, this isn't brass. You know, obviously it is some kind of a button, but you know, the holes in this waistcoat here look like it's just been like stabbed through with a knife. Um, I don't know what that is. Maybe some form of a polo neck. I don't know. Why is he getting his photo taken? <clears throat> that looks authentic. Um, same type of buttons as the majority of other people, but you know, I'm kind of looking at this jacket and it looks like it's been stuck in a cupboard or a drawer or something and just pulled out. So, you know, I'm kind of getting the feeling with the, the people that have had their photos taken, uh, you know, for this book, with this particular type of button, you know, which I'm, you should begin, begin to be recognising as well. Um, but the chances of so many people have the same type of button, which seems to be... Um, uh, part of this particular style of clothing you know, but the chances of so many people from different walks of life going to a photo studio and having the same style is unacceptable I don't accept that at all so I'm kind of thinking that this photographer you know, that's doing the photographs has you know maybe 10 20 different size suit jackets which he puts on to people for the photograph, and including the glasses that we saw earlier, or the double monocle. Uh, you know, this looks like it's been you know, in a cupboard or a wardrobe for a long period of time, because not a lot of uh, kids are getting their photos taken around this era. So I think that would explain why. This looks so shabby. And, and of course, you know, if this kid was wearing this all the time, the creases would just fall out anyway. So, uh, this is really important. Again, the same buttonage. There's a little bit of a difference with the neck scarf here. Uh, but yeah, it looks, looks like a genuine photo. I don't think there's any editing going on there as such. So, so far I've only found one that was a bit suspect. Uh, well, that almost looks like a fleece. Uh, so, or, you know, is this supposed to be wool? You know, you know, what is this material? You know, it can't be a fleece, because that would be like synthetic plastic so a bit of a question mark on that one <sighs> well no i don't see any problems with this but again just note the thickness yeah with the under the, the waistcoat and the outer coat. Uh, 
again very very thick uh, different buttonage not sure what that is um, sorry excuse me a moment But this is the first guy with a hat so that might denote that this is a wealthy guy so it could be that when he turned up he wore his own coat his own jacket or the photograph it's got some felt there by the looks of it or perhaps leather Perhaps he's got a cigar, so he's got money. He's brought his own jacket. Uh, again, I mean, that looks like a house coat, doesn't it? Almost, you know. Uh, but yeah, just, just wrapped up as if, you know. I mean, if this was a book, um, you know. A, a, a photography book and all of the people that were having their uh, pictures taken on Russian I could probably understand the thickness of the clothing uh, don't know but it looks expensive but it also looks kind of creased as far as I know when it comes to silk suits um the creases fall out you know? not sure but nevertheless very thick and you've got this scarf covering round the neck well, I'm just going to jump ahead now. Just, just a couple of things that I wanted to, to just to point out, which were obviously you know the just the quality of the picture, yeah, and um, uh, the thickness of the clothes that they're wearing. Obviously, this is an exception, so it's definition. Um, we have got we have got uh, one of those buttons again so and this does look rather creased actually yeah. I mean that's not that's not just the way that the, the coat is sitting that is most definitely a crease so this is kind of been pulled out of a bag or a wardrobe or a drawer or something like that yeah. anyway it's going to flick for a bit. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to come to a section of photos that's to do with Paris around 60 years you know, between this time frame. <coughs> now, as far as I know, um, there there is no real kind of report of France being at war. I think there there was a time when they were having you know a kind of a semi war with Algeria, yeah. But I mean, all we've been told is you know the First World War, sort of like nineteen fourteen, yeah. But but I mean this is like decades, decades before. Okay, but we're going to look at Paris being bombed in some way. Okay, so um, uh, might just have to translate this. Uh, Vendôme column slaughtered. Uh, well, actually, I'm not going to go into all of the, 
descriptions of the photographs but uh, I, I wanted to for, for this one just so you know that this isn't actually a dead person or anything this is a statue yeah. somewhere in Paris um, but it's been eliminated yeah. Yeah. And the question is why yeah, but we know what this ball means, don't we? Well, to a degree, we know what this ball means with like Martin Lika or Flat Earth British. No, so, no, what was this symbolising? You know, she's got some kind of a sword there in her hand, and so you know, was this a queen? We've got a wreath going around the head. You no, know, what was it? You know, what was happening in Paris you know, at this time? You know, before even Germany was on the rise for the First World War, you know, so skullduggery, guys, skullduggery going on. And, um, I mean, that almost looks like, yeah, when they used to put tape on the windows, yeah, so if there was a blast or anything and the window shattered, they wouldn't, like, go into the house. Yeah, that, I mean, that was a, I was taught that at my indoctrination prison as a child, uh, you know, to do with the Second World War. Yeah, so in the Second World War, you know, is it cargo or First World War? Cargo culture, copying what was going on from before. Yeah, but that's interesting, and that's interesting. So, uh, these aren't ghosts. This is apparently something to do with shutter speed or something like that. Um, but you know, clearly, you know, this printing works going on at this time. Yeah, there's a lot of ink. So we, we you know, we, we're looking at dyes, different dyes, chemicals, chemical factories. You know, all kinds of stuff going on. In the world at this time for them to be able to fabricate you know, stuff like this um, but clearly this is after the event of whatever has happened to these buildings in Paris uh, Uh, what, what I found curious about this is that this 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 section here of the building seems to be leaning out into the road that which is clear. Yeah. Uh, also th wondered because you've got like this arch work, you know, inside, and then on the next floor you've got this arch work. And, you know, I can't really see if it continued on further up. But then with this adjacent building, you've also got arch work going on. Yeah. Doesn't seem normal to me at all. And not only that, you know, if you're going to build um, a hotel or something, yeah, you, you, you wouldn't have a load of arches at the front of the building, you know. Between here and here, yeah, is a gangway, which would have come all the way up like that. And then, if, if you see here, there's another gap. You would have had another gangway, yeah, filled by arches. And then here, again. Yeah, but then, you know, where does the actual building commence? Where is the front of the building? exactly how far is it recessed back yeah. so just to begin with this is a very bizarre construction that doesn't make any kind of sense and suspiciously yeah, it's this particular building that's been attacked which makes me suspicious Um, I 
oddly, absolutely no damage to the fascia of these buildings. Yeah. It seems to be just internal and from above. Yeah. So all the damage is sort of like up top and perhaps inside. But that's only my assumption. You know, I can still see windows in place. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. So it just seems to be the roofs at this point. Yeah. And you know, what have we got on the top here? I can't zoom in anymore, sadly. Yeah, but that looks like metal. Yeah, that looks like metal. And you know, if this has all been burnt, yeah, and that was wood, yeah, that would have burnt and it wouldn't still be there. So that's not wood, it's metal. Yeah, so that's sitting all the way up there on top of this roof. Yeah. And then coming up here, we've got some kind of a pole, yeah, and we've got more metal. Yeah. So has a bomb gone off? No, it doesn't look like a bomb's gone off. Yeah. Does it look like there's been a fire? Well, I don't see any blackening anywhere. Okay. So what's left is uh, perhaps deliberate damage. Yeah, like right. people coming up here and tearing shit down. Yeah. Or is it that there was some kind of an electrical event, like lightning or something, yeah, which caused all this to end up like that, you know, like lightning coming down with all this metal yeah, on top of the roof, yeah, just causing it to just blow out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but the glass is still there, you can see. Yeah. So something was happening on the roof in that photograph. Difficult to see on this one. <sighs> Difficult to see. Uh, but one way or the other, the roads are clear, which is questionable. Uh, this is peculiar. We've got two levels. Um, we've got two levels, which is odd. Uh, if this is the normal ground level at the time, then why would you create a barrier and then fill this part here with mud? and grass why would you do that yeah so that, that's a very odd looking photograph but it does seem like a genuine photograph which a little bit later uh, you're, you're going to be able to see the difference yeah Okay, so that was that um, statue that we were looking at earlier. Yeah, and I was saying um, it's not a person. So this thing yeah, was quite high. Yeah. It goes all the way down there. Yeah. And then this part was sitting on here, going up very, very high.
but it does look genuine. It does look genuine. Uh, but just just make a mental note. You know, you've got these, um, they're called uh, volets in uh, French, or shutters. Yeah. So you know, I just find it odd that you've got normal, well, I say normal, normal windows or doors, whatever you want to call it here, here, here. And it's going to go all the way, you know, all the way along. Yeah. And you can tell how high these people are. Yeah. So, and this is going to be the next floor, the first floor. Yeah. So ground floor, first floor, strange second floor. You know, very short distance compared to that. Compared to that. But we won't go into that. Uh, so, how exactly, you know, would you be operating these shutters on these windows? Yeah. And what exactly would their function be? Yeah. On a building like this. Yeah. So you can see the height of these people. Yeah. How are they going to open and close these shutters? And secondly, what is the point in having these shutters? up here yeah. does it make any sense at all to you yeah or could it be that these things had a different purpose apart from the hypothetical purpose which is to block out the sun yeah. and uh, just just note yeah. Sort of kind of like a round rectangular window and round or oval window a normal rectangle window yeah it's all odd it's all not normal yeah and it it, it, it doesn't look right yeah that building yeah does not look right there's something wrong you know that that is not a place where people live is it because it's all wrong it's all out of whack as they say in america and yeah so not too much to say but that yeah getting that down there like that off of here yeah that is some feat of engineering i tell you yeah and uh, obviously the, the, the burning question is why who was she and who did she symbolize anyway moving on are we getting to the uh, edited photographs yet i think this might be i think this might be It might be, but it's not very obvious. Okay, what you're going to see is a lot of people, yeah, with fake heads put on top of bodies. I, I, I'm not sure about this one. Uh, I mean, that's a little bit suspect. You know, I mean, they might be. I mean, obviously, these are brethren, but. They might be twins, I'm not sure, but they do look very similar, actually. You know? I mean, this guy, yeah, looks like him, but you know, the only different, well, anyway, no, I'm not going to go there, I'm not going to go there, but I am going to go on. Oh, right, okay, back to these buildings. Uh, it's like a a mud flood building, so that's interesting. That's interesting. Um, there seems to be a lot of rubble on the inside of the building. There is some rubble on the outside, but you can see how high the rubble inside is. 
So it looks like the roof has just fallen through. We've got a little bit of uh, flamage there. Yeah. yeah okay. Well, I, I don't. I'm not going to be too critical on that. Well, this looks like a demolition to me. I can't see any burn marks or anything. You know, if it was a fire, you know, how come there's still trees around? You know, other buildings around seem to be okay. You know, was this stuff retrieved from within the building? Yeah, it's all wood. You know, if there was a fierce fire, then uh, you know, how come she's still got wood you know, retrieved from the inside? You know, just something's not right at all with these photos. <sighs> Obviously, you know, a controller or a controller's um, <sighs> subservient dressed in the finest of silk and leather yeah good on you uh, well that's just the same building as earlier uh, I thought this was strange this is presumably a, a chimney, but what, what's that part sticking out? What's that down there? And what's that cable? Odd, to say the least. Um, a blank plaque. Yeah. Um, and we can completely see through the entire building. So this place is completely gutted. But with chimneys yeah so if that's what they are now if this place had been on fire yeah then you would have expect the roof to cave in yeah and as we can see you can see all the way through there's no window there's no glass going on here but we've still got a roof yeah we've still got a roof but we can see right through the building. And what's with the tents? So, so, so what's going on? What's really going on here? This makes no sense whatsoever. Perhaps this place was completely flooded for a long period of time or something. Yeah, but this is not fire damage. This is not eighteen uh, thirty-one bomb damage. Yeah, this is inexplicable. That's what that is. Yeah, doesn't make any sense. But it was there, and it was it was photographed. So, yeah, that, that shop looks absolutely fine. That one looks all right. That, I don't, I'm not even sure what that is exactly. Uh, this one looks okay. I'm kind of like ground level. But going up, going up, it, it's all, it's all going wrong. That the greater damage seems to be at the top, the lesser damage 
seems to be lower um, at least on that building but I take it back for this building um, and what is interesting is all of this wood you know, that, that's inside you know, my, my first thought that is that this has all been put in you know, after an event you know, to stabilize the floors you know, each one I mean it is completely full of trees you know, it is full of it and here you know absolutely full and you've even got some supports out the back here yeah now uh, i thought well that's quite elaborate and my second question is why would you go to so much trouble to do that for a building yeah which you could easily just knock down and rebuild yeah and I would suggest that these people, well, well, not them specifically, but the people of this time, did not have the skill and the ability to build something like this. And they wanted to keep it because, you know, it was somehow a treasure to them. It was something, uh, uh, you know, a building... Um, that, that, that couldn't be replicated and so the best that they could do was to shove all of these trees inside to support it yeah and you know perhaps somehow superficially try and you know keep it rather than lose it because they couldn't build anything like that yeah they just people at that time didn't have the skill set why else would you do that? You know, just look at it. Yeah. Bizarre. Um, well, that does look like cannon fire. It's most definitely a hole that has been punched through by something big. And looks like some sandbags there. So oh, I'm just guessing that must have been a stronghold or something like that. Um, trees. Yeah, trees are locked off. I don't know what that means. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, if if you've got you know cannonballs, if that's what the case was, yeah, that uh, would have to be big enough to go through. Although I can't actually see any cannonballs there. Yeah. So I mean, I'm just guessing. And then you know, you kind of look at this tree here. You've got all of the branches. I mean, what? manner of accuracy would be required to completely you know, shave off you know, the top of a tree like that like that like that and uh, even there and not only that but branches you know, branches coming off you know? I mean you'd have, you'd have a pretty good aim you know? also I don't know what that is, it looks weird. Right. Okay, now this this is this I, I'm pretty convinced this is the first of the batch where I think superficial things have been added, you know, to photographs. Uh, now you can see how kind of blurred it is it is a little bit blurred but when it comes to this head and this hat yeah 
you know, it, there's too much definition, even in the face, too much definition. I can make out his spectacles. You know, I can make them out. So that's odd. You know, so this was the first photo that got me curious. Uh, that kind of looks okay. That's questionable. Yeah. Um, and just aside, I, I was just looking at this railing and I was looking at this object on the end. Yeah. But in context, I, I, I'm looking at this building. I mean, that looks like a drawing. This is like it's drawn, doesn't it, a little bit, yeah? And something's not right with this photograph, you see? Yeah, drain pipes do not look like they've been penciled into reality. And even this shutter, something's wrong, yeah? And what... And, even if we just forget that for the moment and look at the kind of style of the place, yeah? And then you look at this raining with this shining metal object. What's going on? Was that antiqua tech? Or is this being added on with that head and that fake ass? um, a drain pipe penciled in, yeah. probably that as well. So, just 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 remember, just remember the year. Yeah. Oh, next. Now this is just pathetic. Look at this. Look at these heads. Yeah. They're they're bigger than the bodies. It doesn't it doesn't work. Yeah. Look. It's like a collage, a Monty Python scene. Yeah. Look at it. Look. Look. The shoulder, the the, the head. It, it's just all wrong. There's nothing right about this. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't zoom in that much, right? But at least this section here is all wrong. It's just all wrong. Look, look. Yeah. Now, if I if I if I walked into a room yeah, and I saw somebody, and I saw this person. Yeah, I'd be freaked out. Because I'm like, what, what's going on with your head and your body? It's not right. <coughs> um, shadows, yeah, yeah. Look, I mean, look at this entire section, yeah. yeah that is a bad paint shop bro job, yeah. So if if I'm to think that. You know, that's the actual line there of his cloak. And that part there is the shadow, yeah? Where's the shadow behind his head, yeah? And where's the rest of his ear? I mean, it's just pathetic, yeah? But, you know, on, on just face value, it, it kind of looks almost normal, yeah? But this is like 1831, you know, or a couple of decades afterwards. Where did they have the tech to do this? Or did they have it all along? Yeah, look at the size of that head to the body. Yeah. It, it's just Monty Python. It's Monty Python, guys. Monty Python. Uh, 
Oh, this is a weird one as well. Yeah, does that look like a normal photograph to you? Look at the size of that head compared to the body. Yeah, it's just, it's just bizarre. Yeah. This head looks like it's just been like, you know, planted onto this body. But the angle that the head's facing, yeah, it doesn't fit the body. It just doesn't look right. Yeah, you can tell it's just been put on there or super, whatever, whatever the wordage is, that kind of thing. But, you know, there's, you know, some people seem to be looking at the camera, others seem to be looking in another direction. It just, just looks weird. I mean, there's some bad, bad cut and pasting going on there, isn't there? You know, on the lines there. You know, exposure. You know, lighting. Look at it. It's just ridiculous. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, you know, you you have kind of got you, you've got this kind of definition here, you know, where you can see all the frills on this dress, and then um, you've got an inanimate object such as this brick brickage here, and it's blurred. Yeah, so you can say, oh, shows, um, sorry, slow shutter speed. Yeah, well, because when people are moving, so that causes blurring. Yeah, so what's the excuse for this rockage? Yeah, why is it all blurred? Yeah, what, 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 what? What's this you supposed to be sitting on? Why is that blurred? Yeah, is that moving? Yeah, yeah. weird. Um, that's not right at all. That looks weird. Yeah. He's looking at her, apparently. So is he looking at her? You know, uh, what, at the same time? It's, it's what? I don't know. Something spooky about that. Something spooky. I, I just get the feeling that they're going to turn around and they've got like demon faces or something, you know, like out of Beetlejuice. Uh, yeah, it just, it just looks fake. You know, look at that. Look at that, you know. <sighs> Whoops. Lots of the back of people's heads. Okay. Mm. I mean, why do all these people look like the same person? Yeah. No. Oh, no, they've got hair. Yeah. Um, that head, that doesn't look right. Looks a bit weird. The, 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 the shape, the, 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 the whiteness is somehow different. You know, it just looks weird. They're too, a little bit too close together with their heads. It's a look strange. It looks strange, I mean. Mm. 
for me, that's a good job. That's a good job. Oh dear, I've run out of time. I've run out of pages. Well, um, 1831 to 1890, and we've got digital editing. 